Welcome to the Siege Studios Patreon account. Here at Siege, we've been asked by many people uh, on a weekly basis, if not daily, uh, about producing some form of online tuition or tutorials that people can have access to. Uh, we already run courses uh, all over the UK, uh, but we just don't offer an online service, and that's what this Patreon is for. Hey there guys, how's it going? And welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how I do the silver, the uh, sort of silver metal on the uh, flute of the backpack, I guess you'd call them. The, the jets, I don't know. So, let's uh, get into it. So I've started off by base coating them grey neutral, neutral grey from Vallejo. And what I'm going to do now this takes some um, gray, blue gray play, blue gray pale from Vallejo as well. I've just put that on the palette there, and uh, I've got a couple of other colors here. I've got white and dark Prussian blue, and these are going to be the main colors that I use for painting this. So I'm going to start by taking our blue gray pale. pull off a little blob. What I'm going to do is I'm going to really thin this down. Not quite to a glaze, but just thin enough so it won't give me a full coverage and give me a little bit to work with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick some areas to focus on because I want to figure out how I want to do the light. So first off, I want the bottom halves of these little notches to be highlighted. And so I'm just going to sketch in those because I've done that on the halves about here, halves on the areas of the uh, flutes here to be highlighted as well. And uh, you can see there's a gentle curve to these pieces. So I'm going to try following that curve with uh, with my painting. So I've drawn a little line there. I'm not worrying about getting the paint in between the cracks at the moment. This is very rough sketching. Just to get this light mapped out and then I want just another line there and then what I'm going to do is highlight down there and then on the bottom here I'm going to go all the way to the top on the sides but I will pick out The middle bit. So as, as you can see that's our first highlight mapped out. So what I'm going to do is now fill these in. As you can see, still really rough, but this is just the starting starting position of this uh, stage. I've still got a lot to do, so. I'm 
I'm going to bring these up to a full base coat and then we'll move on. Now that these have been properly base coated, what we're going to do is blend in a transition here on this area. So I'm going to start by taking our blue-gray pale from before. And this time I'm going to thin it down a lot more to a glaze than we did previously. And what I'm going to start is by just carefully just dragging the glaze down. from one side, dragging it up from the other. So I started with quite a bright uh, gray for this part, this top face flutes, just because it's going to be pointing towards the sky. So I figured it would be fairly bright in comparison to, say, the underside. So I'm not trying to get this bit perfect at the moment because I'm going to come in with the uh, the dark tone underneath and uh, clear up all these glazes later on. that is dry. I'm going to take a bit of our neutral grey. I'm going to water that down into a glaze itself. And then I'm just going to work back in the shadows. Cleaning up any transitions I'll just let that dry and then we'll move on to the next highlight. For the next highlight, I'm going to take the blue-gray pale we had. I'm going to mix it 50-50 with the pure white. And I'm going to water this down. This time it's going to be to a glaze. or 
maybe a little bit thicker than a glaze. But we're gonna start bringing some of the lighter tones in. So just at the base here. And if you still see any transition areas between the previous highlight and this one, you can go back to the previous one and uh, clear that up. Another thing you can do at this stage is start to edge highlight some of the metallic aspects. In fact, what I'll do is I'll wait for this to dry and I'll move on to that, that next stage. So what I'm gonna do now is do some recess shading before I go on to edge highlight with the uh, mix here. So I've got some black gray Vallejo. I'm gonna thin that down. Nice and gently. And what I'm gonna do now Make sure you've got a really nice tip on the brush. So I'm going to very carefully pick out all the little lines. If you make a mistake, it's nice and easy to come back in and uh, fix that. As you can see, we brought some more definition back in, which is good. to make sure you pick out these lines too. And now, as I said before, I'm going to take our mix and I'm going to edge highlight. So very simply, it's going along the edges.
So I've got a little bit in the uh, recess. I just very gently come in and fix that up. And we're starting to get somewhere now. Right, the next stage is the white part. As with before, with the highlights, I'm going to take a bit of it, you know, bring it off, uh, water it down to a glaze, and just like before, start working it in further down this time. We go over the uh, recesses we did before. Again, we'll just complete this stage and come back and fix them up. So what I've done here is I've taken off the sharp point and I've made it almost like a flat brush, and that's going to help me get some nice line textures. I can brush that in. I think I'm just going to fix up some little mishaps and missteps and then we'll move on to the next bit. This next part is edge highlighting again, but with pure white. So just like before, I'm going to come in with our white. around edge highlighting. You can also pick out any little bolts, that are lying around too.
So that's that done. Now I'd be happy with these, but I think what I'm going to do is add another little interesting little highlight on there and I'll show you just how that goes. That little interesting uh, thing I was going to add is just another little highlight, nothing crazy, but just I'm going to bring our white back in. And what I'm going to do is just between our darkest point and our brightest point, just going to add another little light. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend that in in the same way that I've done the rest. slowly and carefully and then I'll show you the final result in adding that extra little bit of shine I completely forgot about the blue now it's blue what we use that for is we really water that down and bring some white as well when I say water it down I mean more than a glaze so it's you can see how much that disperses on the air the paper there. And then what I do is glaze in this blue. To the highlights. Not all the way on all the areas. But just enough so there's that, that hint of colour. You can do it as well with just dark Prussian blue, but you've got to be careful because, as I said before, it's an incredibly strong blue, very heavy pigment in it. this kind of a shine. Now what I'm going to do is just uh, finish off these details, replicate this on the other side, and uh, should be ready to stick on the base. So thank you for watching and uh, hopefully I'll uh, see you guys practice some of these things yourself. It's good fun and it's always good to try something new. So. Thank you for watching. Any questions, feel free to ask and see you in the next one.